This is the cave in which elephant enters at night. We have elephants, buffaloes, and the bushbucks that comes here at night. They come here because of the parts of this cave contain salt. They don't come here because of shelter. They come here because of that salt. As you know, Mount Elgon receives a lot of rainfall. And because of that, we have a leaching that occurs in some parts around this cave. Though those animals eat and graze on those trees, leaves and other greens, they don't obtain all nutrients necessary for their body. That is why they come in this cave to supplement those nutrients that they lack from the forest. So elephants do not come here to shelter themselves from the rain. They come here because of that salt. They have an entrance and an exit in this cave. When you look here, this place acts as an exit and an entrance for all animals that enters in this cave. Elephants and buffaloes use the same fruit. When an elephant enters into this cave, it's usually led by a female elephant called Mantriach. It is an oldest elephant that has full experience and knows where the path. When the elephant enters into this cave, it enters in a chain way. They don't enter randomly. They always follow a line. The matriches takes the lead and the males follows it. When the matriches enters this cave, it lowers its trunk. That one is used for navigation of the way and to sense any dangers ahead. It uses that trunk for sensing. In Mount Elgon, we have 400 elephants. Those elephants move in our families. One family is between 20 to 40 elephants. So you may see a group of 40 elephants entering at once, going to lick that salt. They start entering into this cave at 9 o'clock and exit the cave at 4 o'clock at dawn. So when you come here in this cave at 6 o'clock in the morning, you can't find any animals here. That is why tourists are only allowed to stay at this place up to 6 o'clock in the evening. Because from, that, from this time, animals from different parts will be entering the cave. Because when elephants enter the cave and senses the presence of humans in the cave at this time, they go away. When you look over there, you can see the droppings of elephants. Before gazetting this park, this place was used as a human settlement. The same Elgon Masai, Kalenjin community, used this place as their settlement. This Mount Elgon is considered as a dispersal zone of Kalenjin community.